the issue that I'm interested in is uh, forcible DNA testing statutes. These are statutes that now exist in every state, and the federal government has passed one as well. And it allows the state to take, by force, a DNA sample, usually through blood. Um, the sample is stored in a database, and law enforcement is allowed to use the database to help it search, uh, to help it solve crimes. Now the statutes originally applied only to people who were convicted of certain types of crimes, usually serious felonies and originally sex crimes. But now they've been expanded to cover people that have been convicted of any crime, including a misdemeanor, um, white collar crimes where physical evidence is very unlikely to exist. Um, and in some states they're now even attempting to expand the statutes to people who've only been arrested of crimes, even if the person is never even prosecuted, much less convicted. Um, I, the courts that have looked at these statutes have upheld them unanimously. No court has struck down the statute on federal constitutional grounds. Um, and generally they've been challenged under the Fourth Amendment. The courts have split on whether they uphold the statute under the special needs exception or by relying on the diminished expectation of privacy. What's uh, special needs? Special needs is an exception to the Fourth Amendment's usual rule that the government can search you only if it has a warrant based on probable cause. And the exception allows the government to search you without a warrant, without probable cause, and without any suspicion whatsoever. So it can conduct a bodily search without any type of suspicion. The Supreme Court created the exception for situations where the, even though government officials were searching, the results of the search were never turned over to the uh, law enforcement arm. So you could never be prosecuted for the results of the search. Uh, for instance, it allowed searches of high school athletes to see if they were using drugs, the, their urine was searched, but the only consequences were that the athletes were prohibited from per participating in school sports. They allowed railway workers to be searched after railway accidents just to see if somebody had been uh, using drugs or alcohol and there would be employment consequences but no law enforcement consequences. And the court has, the Supreme Court has in the past always limited the exception to situations where law enforcement won't be involved. But very reputable appellate courts, including the Second and the Seventh Circuit, have applied the exception to uphold these forcible DNA testing statutes. And I think that that makes absolutely no sense since the entire purpose and really the only purpose of these statutes is to help law enforcement solve crime.